now consider this question here in this question they are saying consider 8 million word memory and 256 cache both partitioned into 64 word blocks then how the address is divided the first question how the address is divided the second question is what is the tag size or tag comparator size number three what is the maximum number of tag comparisons number four what is the additional memory for tags and number five uh, the cache capacity or total cache size for direct mapping associative mapping four-way set associative mapping and eight-way set associative mapping now see they are giving the size of the main memory in million words right so when they are giving eight million then you you may think that this eight million means eight into ten uh, 8 into this much right so this is not 8 million 8 into 10 lakhs it is not 8 million in case of this when we discuss about the memory then it is 8 into 2 raised to power 20 right so 8 million can be written as 8 into 2 raised to power 10 into 2 raised to power 10 and then it becomes 8 million words now it is 256 cache uh, both partitioned into uh, 64 word blocks so here uh, 256 is giving is the 256 block cache so this is the one word which is giving it is 256 block cache so that means this is the main memory uh, let me try it this way this is the main memory and uh, they are saying then this is the main memory and it is of 8 million words and this is the cache memory which is having 256 blocks okay so this is cache and this is main memory and this total size of the main memory is uh, 8 into 2 raised to power 20 or you can say 2 raised to power 23 words 2 raised to power 23 words okay this is the size of the cache memory and so this is main memory and for the cache memory cache memory they are saying it is having 256 blocks and the size of every block is 64 words Therefore, the size of the cache memory will be 2, 2 raised to power 8 multiplied by 2 raised to power 6 or you can say 2 raised to power 14 words. Size of the main memory is 2 raised to power 23 words, size of the cache memory is 2 raised to power 14 words. And the data which they are giving, they are saying the cache memory is divided into blocks or lines like this and there are 256 lines which is 0, 1, 2 up to so on to 55 lines. And the size of every line or can say size of every block because this main memory is also divided into blocks and the size of every block is equal to 64 words now how the address is divided and when I'm saying how the address is divided now this uh, address division is in terms of uh, address division is, is in terms of uh, direct mapping so if this is the entire address so how much would be the size of entire address that depends on the main memory size because the main memory is 2 to the power 23 words so we require 23 bits to represent the address hence the entire address is of 23 bits now this entire address of 23 bits is divided into three parts number one is tag sorry number one is tag number two is line number and number three is the offset so this is offset and this offset is dependent on the size of the block the size of the block is 64 words so 64 word means 2 to the power 6 words which is equal to 6 bit address 6 bit offset so offset will be of 6 bit and how many lines are there in the cache and there are 256 lines so there is 8 bit of line number hence out of uh, this 23 bits we used 8 bits of line number 6 bits of offset in total they are 14 bits and therefore the tag bits are only 9 bits so in the cache memory we'll be having tags which are of 9 bits these are of 9 bit tag okay so we know how the address is divided we know what is the size of the tag so we answered the question number one and the question number two and now in the third they are asking how many uh, maximum number of tag comparisons which are required so because it is a direct mapping so to consider whether a block is, is is there in the memory or not we just have to compare it once so there's one tag comparison is required 
an additional memory for tags that means what is the tag directory size so we are having nine bits of tag and uh, this tags is used in 256 locations so when i'm saying additional memory for tag that means uh, it will be 256 uh, multiplied by tag size which is nine bits so if you divide it by eight then this will become byte okay so that you can say it is uh, 256 can be written as 2 raised to power 7 to the power 8 and 8 is to the power 3 so it is 2 to the power 5 into 9 bytes so you require this much additional memory to represent the tags okay how you got it again there are 9 bit of tag and there are 256 lines so you multiply 9 by 256 so whatever answer you are going to get that will be in the bits so convert bit into bytes we divided by 8 so we know the total additional memory which we require for tax that is 2 to the power 5 into 9 bytes okay and the third one they are asking what is the cache capacity see when i'm saying cache capacity here then cache capacity include the cache size plus the tag memory whatever the memory are used for tag plus any extra memory if you use for dirty bit or etc etc any additional bits so these dirty bits are used here in tags to represent whether a particular page is modified or not okay so we use some extra bits like there's a dirty bit uh, there's a bit to represent whether the page is modified or not etc etc that we, we will be t uh, using at later point of time here we are not using any dirty bit here we are only using the cache memory size cache memory size is 256 into uh, 64 plus tag memory we require is uh, this is two plus to power 5 into 9 bytes so this cache is generally this size is generally given in words they are asked they have given the uh, memory size in words so if i am considering that size of one word is equal to one byte in that case then this will this will become 2 raised to power uh, 14 plus 2 raised to power 5 into 9 bytes so this will be the total cache size for this particular question okay now this everything was in case of direct mapping so whatever we have covered that is in case of direct mapping what if instead of direct mapping we are using associative mapping and then let us ask the same questions we are just modifying this question to see if instead of direct mapping we are using associative mapping okay so here the next portion of this is associative mapping for associative mapping uh, this is a cache and the cache is again divided into cache lines and this is uh, the main memory which is divided into blocks okay again the same data which they are giving the cache is having 256 lines and every line is of 64 blocks words and the main memory is having uh, 8 million words or you can say 8 mega words are there which is equal to 8 into 2 raised to power 20 words which is 2 raised to power 23 words so entire the address will be again will be of 23 bits so in case of associative mapping this entire 23 bits address is only divided into two parts number one is the tag a second one is the offset okay and this offset is dependent on this that is size of the block which is of 64 words so 64 word is 2 raised to power 6 words hence we have 6 bit of offset so number of bits required to represent the tag there are 17 bits hence we know how the address is divided we know what is the tag size the third one is asking maximum number of tag comparisons which are required now in case of direct mapping we know that every particular page can only be mapped into one particular cache line but in case of associative mapping we know any block can be placed in any line so in worst case we have to compare the tag with every line here and how many lines are there 256 so in case of associating mapping in worst case you have to have 256 tag comparisons 256 tag comparisons okay and the fourth question is asking what is the additional memory for tags what is additional amount of memory you are using for tags so uh, every, the size of the tag is 17 bit and you are using tag in 256 uh, uh, this lines so this is additional memory which we are using so if you convert into bytes then you divide it by 8 
then these many bytes of additional memory you are using and the last one is the what is the total cache size so total cache size can be written as uh, that cache size plus tag memory and we are not using any data bit so cache size is 256 into 64 words plus it is 17 into 256 bits okay so i have not again not used it in bytes so if you want to convert it to bytes then you divide it by 8 bytes so considering the word size and the byte size are same then you can uh, use it accordingly okay and the next the third question they are asking what if we are using four way set associative mapping okay so next question here we are using what if we are using four way set associative mapping that means this entire cache memory will be divided into four sets four way sets so four uh, four lines are creating one set okay so every set is containing four lines so how many sets will be there 256 lines are there divided by four so we are going to have 64 sets okay so this entire address will be divided into three parts offset set number and tag so offset is six bit we already know uh, set number because if there are 64 sets so we require six bit of set number so total we have 12 bits therefore the tag will be of 11 bits In the 11 bits tag will be there so we answered this one we answered this one maximum number of tag comparisons so uh, because uh, any block can be mapped into a particular set and that set is containing in worst case four uh, lines so a maximum number of tag comparisons that you will be having in case of four way set associative mapping that will be equal to four okay and what is additional memory for tags additional memory is 11 bit multiplied by uh, 256 bits so this is total of this much additional memory you are using and again uh, and correctly you can evaluate what is the size of the cache memory right but instead of this what if we are using 8 way set associative for 8 way set associative how many sets will be there 256 divided by 8 that is equal to 32 sets will be there so this entire address will be divided into uh, the set uh, there are 5 bits which are required for set and 6 bit for offset therefore for tax how many bits are required 12 bits are required for tax okay accordingly you can evaluate all the things uh, if uh, it is eight way set associative so in uh, worst case we require eight comparisons so i hope this question answers almost maximum number of your doubts